And away from all that, let's join Justin Akadunye on the business desk for more stories. Welcome to Business Reports. A group of concerned licensed agents has lamented what they term atrocities allegedly committed by the Nigeria Customs Service officials, rising from a demonstration at the NPA port in Tinken Island, Abapa, on Tuesday. The group accused customs officials of act of corruption and sabotage of the country's economy. They said that the customs management intentionally rendered the Niger Integrated Customs Information System (NICES) ineffective, so as to ensure that there was no trans- transparency and accountability in revenue collection for the government. It said the NCS reintroduced the old paperwork process which ensures that bribery at different points for officers thrives to the detriment of the government. The customs agent also accused the Controller General of the NCS, Ali Ahmed, of creating different units that had turned out to be problems on their own. Some of the units include CG Strike Force, CG Squared, CAC Monitoring Unit and FOU in areas like Liverpool Bridge, Ijara Bridge, Leventis Area B, all in Apapa and Tinkin Island, Lagos State. They, were, they were intercepted whatever you are taking on the road, like Tokumbo, the one roll on, then the container. They were intercepted the, the money for ridiculous amount. After the duty has been paid, the due process has been followed. So it's too bad for a one bar to be intercepted a container that was duly released by Deputy Controller of Customs. It's too bad. That is what we are asking the, the Senate President to intervene, to call the, the CG to order. If government, any, any time they know that they want to do something, if they, if they arrest any importer or agent, any custom that commits that offense should be punished. Not only agent or importer. You know what I'm saying? They should be prosecuted. Are you going to know what I'm saying? Then all these things, what we want from them, we want them to operate in nicest. We don't want any manual from anything, anything evaluation, anything releasing. We don't want, we want system to be releasing for us. The group asked the Senate to look into the revenue declared by the NCS to begin to address the problems. The petitioners, however, said a huge part of the revenue which comes through the agents ends up in private pockets instead of government purse. Tegna is being in charge of FAR. Custom criticized and they took over. How can custom issue FAR and at the same time query the FAR, which is not ideal. In the same corollary, the valuation officer is in the port, headed by a deputy controller. By the time the deputy controller gives you a value, you will see the CG task force we want to put an alert. Uh, con- uh, uh, controllers, uh, um, uh, we want to put an alert. CIU, we want to put an alert. Multiple alert on one consignment. How can we be able to actualize 48 hours clearance, which is not possible? And all these seats, we are going to spend money. And I wouldn't know whether they are partnering with the shipping company and terminals. Because any consignment that is in the port, we have to, before you can go out of one bottleneck, it will take you one or two days. And who takes the money? So, we just want sanitary in this industry. We want outright place, outright sanitary. Because everything they will be saying is government. is It's not government. It's the, uh, the representative of government that are doing the worst of all these things. Look at the truck coming out of port, coming back. The transporter said they went from Leventis to inside port to come and drop container 250,000. Who is collecting it?